So Emily from uh, Emily's Life on Wheels, who we are in friends in person, not just like I watch her videos. Sonoma, we are outside at the field. Yes, I'm wearing a Santa hat. It is the warmest hat I have. I know people think I'm crazy for wearing it so early, but it's so comfortable. Sonoma, what'd you find? Um, yeah, it's chilly. There was frost this morning, but um, she said, why don't you do a video today? And I was like, I'm not doing anything exciting. Like I was playing with Sonoma inside, tossing his ball. And then it's like, then I'm going with my mom to work for a few hours and you know, taking Sonoma over here to let him get some fresh air. But I didn't vlog at all yesterday. It wasn't very exciting, but I did a sucrose test, which I thought I would talk about. So you can be intolerant to sucrose. And if you didn't know anything ending in ose, like dextrose, sucrose, maltose, um, dextrose, did I say that one already? Um, they all mean sugar, and I honestly don't remember the difference between them, or if there is one, or if it's just fancy naming, but they really mean sugar. And my GI doctor ordered this test to see if some of my GI symptoms related were related to a sucrose intolerant. Um, so, Selma, come on this way. Come on. So what that test entailed of, it was very, very easy. The only thing is I wanted to drink tea in the middle of it, which you can't. It's a fasting test. And you have one, two, three, I believe four tubes. They just look like blood tubes. They're like that size, but they're not for blood. Good boy, Sonoma, getting busy. And it told me to brush my teeth before I do the test but don't eat anything, so I did that. And then I have the baseline tube where I just take a deep breath in, breathe into it for five seconds, then put the lid on. Of course, it looks like there's nothing in there. And then I um, wait for 30 minutes and take this sucrose package is literally sugar. Oh my gosh, and there was so much of it, it seemed like. And I was supposed to put it in like eight ounces of glass of water, mix it in so there's no more crystallization. Sonoma, where's your pink ball? Go find it. I know it's good for dogs to sniff around and I highly encourage sniffing, but I also want you to get some exercise out here while it's a nice day. So, um, the soup, it was just like, it looked just like sugar. It was just white and crystally. <laughs> and I mixed that in and it said, you know, drink the whole thing. Don't worry if it takes you a couple minutes. I was like, thank God, because some things you have to like chug down. Um, it, I have had worse things to drink for tests and preps and stuff. Um, it was just so sweet and sugar makes my symptoms go up in general. So it was kind of hard to know if like I felt bad after the test, after I had it, or it's just because it's sugar and it wasn't it. It was just, it's hard to tell. Um, so then I drank that and then I waited 30 minutes and then I breathed into the next tube. Then I waited 30 minutes. So I just kept setting a timer on my phone 30 minutes um, for another one, 30 minutes till I got to the fourth tube and then it was done and then I could drink my tea and eat something and whatever and that was it. Had to fill out a form um, regarding some symptoms, very basic, and then add a list of your current medications, um, which is very common, especially when something um, you know, they don't know, maybe could affect the results of the test. So they have all that information and it was in a box. It was, um, given to us at the office when I got it. And then it's already prepaid to mail it out to wherever it actually goes. 
and then we just added our turn address in case something happened and that's it so i did that yesterday and i did feel yucky afterward but i'm like i don't feel this good i don't feel good at this time anyway so it was really hard to tell you know because i'm like uh my symptoms are always changing and sometimes i have more joint pain sometimes i have more nerve pain sometimes i have really bad headaches so i really don't know i'm guessing it's going to come back normal but I'm not sure. Um, he just really wants to sniff today. So that's the sucrose intolerance. I have to do some more research on that to see if it were to come back positive or how bad, how, if, you know, on a scale, what you do because if you don't know, I'm already gluten-free, added sugar-free, like sucrose. Yeah, there's sugar in apples. Does that mean like I can't have apples anymore? And like, I don't know. I'm like, what else would I be eating? Like, like what else, what would I eat? And I don't eat artificial sweeteners and those are bad for my stomach too. Um, except sugar alcohols I can't have in moderation. So, I have no idea when that test will come back. It's a mail out, who knows? I, I don't even know where it's going. And then the results have to get back and then, you know, I'll have to go in for an appointment. Maybe it could be telehealth, that'd be nice. So that's what I did. Just doing obviously easier tests first before you go and do something more invasive. They wanted to do an MRI we really, I really didn't think anything would come back on an MRI to see um, like my gallbladder area, even though my gallbladder is gone and my pancreas and things. I would have done it even though I really don't think anything would come back if MRIs weren't such a huge trigger for my seizures, even though I, um, medicate before to try to help it's still it's a lot um so i'm like <laughs> the amount of times that that has happened having seizures from our eyes and then them all being normal and i already had a stomach mri way back when and it was normal so i've already had like gi um photos i've come back normal and cat scans and stuff so I don't think there's an internal like structural thing wrong. I think it's a way my, oh, here comes back a trotter. I think my body is not working right, but I don't think it's because of a structural problem, which is what they would see in those scans instead of other tests. Sonoma, come on, let's run. Let's get your ball. So that's about it. I need to just do some basic things around the house today if I feel up to it. I'm still in my pajamas, so like, I got a long way to go. I've got hat head. Gotta play with this buddy and get him tired out. And then before you know it, like, <sighs> the day just keeps moving on. So I'm gonna play with him now. I will update definitely when I get that test back and if there's anything else interesting to vlog and show I do want to show my um jack-o-lantern that I made and specifically because um whoever came up with the idea um came up for it for those who are disabled and have trouble um carving a typical jack-o-lantern. So I'm going to show that um, once I get back to my house after playing with Sonoma.